PGE says they have restored power so far to more than 650,000 customers. That's since the storm started, but thousands remain in the dark and cold tonight. Fox 12's Bridget Chavez spoke with people who are now going on more than a week without power. She joins us live in Woodburn. Bridget. Yeah, Camilla, there are more than 500 homes in this Woodburn neighborhood, all of them going on day eight without power. They know that PGE is out working, trying to get these lines and poles fixed. We saw them out earlier, but the folks I spoke with say they're freezing and they're frustrated that this is taking so long. It's not a typical sound you're used to hearing in neighborhoods like this. The people who live here are going on more than a week without power. Like many of his neighbors, Rock Harmon is using this generator to keep warm. We run a couple space heaters, but but that's all, you know, you got to turn one off if you, if you want the coffee maker to work or it blows the circuit. He says it got so bad his daughter and grandson had to stay somewhere else. The second day my grandson said, uh, Papa, it's cold. And I'm like, yeah, it's cold. Harmon's neighbor Kathy Martin is now staying in a hotel because her home is just 46 degrees inside. Frustrated with how long it's taking PGE to restore power after a major ice storm ripped through Marion County. And I'm getting a different story from PGE every day. Oh, ma'am, we have crews coming out. They're on their way. You'll be restored anytime. Unfortunately, this is also happening for thousands living in Multnomah and Clackamas counties. Ken Roney and his family live in Milwaukee and are now staying in Mount Scott because they still don't have an estimate for when they'll have power again. We don't know even how long to stay up here. Uh, we don't know when's the power going to be on. It's been over a week and just it's it's just so frustrating. I'm sorry. His biggest worry, though, is for his neighbors. We are cold and we're bundling up and it's it just takes the life out of you. And we, I just can't imagine that there's the seniors in the park are going through this. A welcome sight today as crews continue to work to restore power. I'm glad they're there working, starting working. I was so excited when I saw them, but I'll be more excited when the lights go on. If you are in Clackamas County and you need help, there are resources available. The Canby Fairgrounds is open until 6 tonight if you need some help, and they do have other, other places there as well. If you're in Marion County, there are a few sites, but those are only open from 10 to 2. We posted that full list at kptv.com. Just click on this story. Reporting live in Woodburn, Bridget Chavez, Fox 12 Oregon.